Thanks for clicking on MidlandsConnect.com. I'm Brian McConkie, and this is Watch Fox News on the Net. Here's a look at some of the stories we're working on for you as we speak. Just one day out from Tuesday's primary, five candidates are suing in federal court to get their names on the ballot. Almost 250 candidates in all, running from sheriff to state senate, have been declared ineligible since a state Supreme Court ruling last month about the proper filing of financial paperwork. The lawsuit filed Monday names the state and election commission as defendants. The plaintiffs are hoping to get their names in consideration for tomorrow's vote or to delay the primary until a judge hears their concerns. An in-depth look at what to expect tomorrow if you're heading to the polls is coming up on Watch Fox News at 10. In other political news, Governor Nikki Haley's administration refusing to release emails tied to an ongoing ethics investigation. The Charleston Post and Courier says it has requested emails related to a House ethics panel probe into whether Haley illegally lobbied while she was still a House lawmaker. Haley's lawyer says the documents are exempt due to attorney-client privilege. However, media attorney Jay Bender says the attorney-client privilege likely applies just to the governor, not her staff. Bender says this is an example of a public body overreaching to hide records that should be public. And Mother Nature not only making it hard to get some baseball in today, flooding in parts of Columbia, also a major problem. A portion of Main and Whaley Streets closed off this afternoon after the Rocky Branch Creek overflowed its banks. Columbia work crews shutting down that area while they work to clear the roadway. Flooding in that part of the city has been at the center of a debate over a possible Walmart development on the old Capital City Stadium property. City Council approved the sale of that land last week. Critics say the project will make flooding issues worse they question a study that says otherwise. Well, with all that weather out there getting baseball in at Carolina Stadium, no easy task, Garrett Biedenboss. So what do we have on tap? Uh, well, we do have clearing skies at the moment around the uh, Midlands, but uh, the southern part of the Midlands getting in on some rain as well, light rain at the hour, and but there are some uh, more rain showers heading our way to our west, so that will be coming to uh, the Midlands overnight. Currently, temperature-wise, we're in the mid-70s here in Columbia, 73 in Camden, 72 in Sumter, 79 in Winsboro, and the upper 70s as well in uh, Newberry County. So, 75 degrees at midnight tonight, maybe a chance of a shower or thunderstorm. We'll go down to the low 70s, so not cooling off that much and we'll have uh, make sure you keep those uh, umbrellas handy of course tomorrow and throughout the overnight hours and sunshine returns for Wednesday and also a nice weekend ahead. We'll tell you much more about that tonight at 10. Thank you very much sir. Also the University of South Carolina looking to help a Georgia woman battling a rare flesh eating disease. The alumni associations from USC and Georgia holding a blood drive for Amy Copeland. The 24 year old's father is a USC alum. Copeland contracted the disorder when she cut her leg in a fall from a homemade zip line in a Georgia river in early May. The young woman's left leg, right foot, and both hands have been amputated as she fights this rare disease. To have her hands amputated and not bat an eyelash or shed a tear, um, I wasn't strong enough to, to be able to leave the room without shedding a tear, but I shed it because of her courage, and her courage is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. You know, I think we're, we're proving today just how great the game cognition is. That blood drive is being held at 509 Lincoln Street in the USC Greek Village until 7 p.m. Monday. If you cannot get there, blood donations can still give to this cause all week at the main Red Cross Donation Center on Bull Street in Columbia. Well, that's it for this edition of Watch Fox News on the Net. Keep it locked to MidlandsConnect.com for all the latest news and weather and sports as well and be sure to join us tonight for watch fox news at 10 when rick garney will break down all the gamecock baseball action as usc looks for its third straight trip to omaha we'll see you then